Good day, viewers. Thank you for joining us for another interesting edition of the program, Community Feedback. On today's edition, we will be looking at the newly inaugurated Osho di Abuliegba 13.68 km BRT corridor, expected to cater to an estimated 60,000 commuters from Osho di Alimosho, Iyanopaja, and its environs, with the newly introduced smart card ticketing system for cashless prepaid process. Also unveiling for public use is the 550 mass transit buses. I must say, Governor Babajide Sonwulu's administration on things and gender for transportation to give Lagosians a new travel experience by bringing smiles to their faces. My name is Yoandi Mumuni. You're welcome. It's still community feedback on Lagos Television. Thanks for staying tuned. The launch of 550 buses on the newly opened BRT corridor along the Osho di Abuliegba axis on the Lagos Abiyakuta Expressway will greatly reduce the travel time for commuters from two hours during peak period to 30 minutes daily. This is in line with the state's government promise of the congested perennial traffic on Lagos Road through good road networks. The Lagos State Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, that matter, which is handling the BRT services, has promised to give commuters a world-class travel experience, as the governor also pledged to give the first 100,000 of Cowie smart cards free of charge starting this month. More details in this package. Bringing smiles to the faces of residents of Lagos State has always been one of the priorities of the state government. In an effort to demonstrate this further, an integrated transport mode on a single smart payment ecosystem for improved navigation across the perennial Lagos traffic has been launched by the state government. The same day, the Osho di Abuliegba 13.68 km bus rapid transit BRT long corridor was inaugurated for effective road transportation system. The inauguration of the Osho di Abuliegba BRT corridor by Governor Babajide Sonwulu also featured the unveiling of 550 mass transit buses for an estimated 60,000 commuters from Oshuji, Ijaye, Alimosho, Egbeda, and Iyanuipaja axis. The commuters are expected to use the newly introduced smart ticketing system for an automated fee payment through a cashless prepaid card. We're here to commission the very first in our six point agenda, which is traffic management and transportation. Our pledge to the citizens to commission the Abulie Egba bus rapid system to also unveil and to hand over to the Goshians 550 high capacity and medium capacity buses. You will remember that we came here, I think it was in January, and we said, I think this particular bus station, and we said that we're going to be commissioning this project by May 29th. But we did not know that COVID-19 were going to be setting us back by about three, four months. But I'm indeed happy that what we couldn't complete or commission by May 29, within three months, we're back here again now to hand over this very, very important corridor to our citizens on this very high traffic movement in Lagos State. It's actually been said that this is one of the highest vehicular traffic, human traffic movement in the whole of Lagos. So we're indeed happy that we're bringing this to our people right down to Alimosho environment, because I'm looking at one of them behind me here. So we're not allowing COVID-19 to have slowed us down. We indeed have not allowed COVID-19 to delay on the promises that we've given our citizens. We have ensured that within the timelines that we can bring this, com this project to completion and we can today hand it over to our citizens. The story around BRT started way back since 2008. And I dare say that I was privileged 
to have been part of that conversation at that time. But we can begin to see that Lagos, that commands the mega city status in Nigeria, that is the largest economic melt point of a nation, has once again demonstrated that we want a Lagos that is alive, we want a Lagos that is resilient, we want a Lagos that people can know that they can come and do business and we're providing the means for them to have a better livelihood. And that's why I'm excited that we can hand over this BRT corridor to our citizens. This new mode of transportation is being supervised and handled by the Lagos State Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, LAMATA, to enable commuters have a new travel experience that calls down on travel time from two hours during peak periods to about 30 minutes daily. In line with the state government promise of decongesting the perennial traffic on the Oshudi Abuliegba axis on the Lagos Abeokuta Expressway. Over the years, several administrations in the state had worked assiduously to put our infrastructure right in order to ensure the comfort of Lagosians as they move around in pursuit of their businesses and other obligations. This administration's efforts in our public transport system are dictated by the team's development agenda. The very first pillar of which is traffic management and transportation. All agencies saddled with the responsibilities of traffic management and transportation are collectively working to ensure Mr. Governor achieve the important pillar germane to Lagos smart cities status. Lagos residents who have greeted the new Oshodi Abuliegba BRT corridor with jubilation are eagerly awaiting the fulfillment of the promise made by Governor Sawolu when he assured that he will give the first 100,000 cowrie smart card free of charge to them while flagging off the BRT corridor for public use on August 12, 2020. Up next is our box box segment, where we get the views of Lagosians and how far the new BRT corridor is adding value to public transportation along the Osho de Abuliegba axis. If the smart cab is something we are really going to adopt, it's really going to make it easier for the people of Lagos State to board the BRT buses wherever they might be coming from or going to. But one thing that is so important that I want us to take into consideration is maintenance culture. In Nigeria, we need this. If we, if we implement the smart card, we should enable the people in charge to be able to maintain it so that it will be a continuous process. We have a good project, which uh, we have to commend the Lagos state government for that because the plight of people from uh, Abuliegba to Oshodi is, 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 is too bad. Because, and all these uh, bus conductors, they do take 
advantage of the people by no charging the uh, commuters exorbitant price. I think by the introduction of the uh, uh, new BRT, I think it's a long way to go to reduce the, the price of the people. The BRT initiative is a good one. I think it's amazing. The fact that um, you know the BRT bus can convey you know more passengers than this than for, you know it eases the stress of um, citizens. Bringing the scratch card of the people, you know, it's very okay because that means you're actually bringing development in Lagos, Nigeria. Because outside Nigeria, that is how they do their way of movement. And it's also good you, to make you pay less. And you get to where you are going faster, easier, and conveniently. An integral part of governance in Lagos State is the parcels of a formidable government where everyone counts. Hence the need for a program that highlights the astronomical growth of the state through the massive projects carried out in various localities in the state. Community feedback is poised to extreme Lagos as Africa's modern smart city. The feedback segment is also created to fill the pulse of the people in order to maintain the state's tradition of excellence. Community feedback promises to be exciting and informative. Community feedback, hope of the hopeless, voice of the voiceless. Join us again on community feedback on Lagos Television on DSTV Channel 256, Go TV Channel 90. That's all on today's edition of Community Feedback. Thank you for staying tuned to us. Do join us again. Same time, same station next week for another interesting episode. In case you notice anyone around you displaying the coronavirus symptoms, please call 0800 Corona or 0800 267662. Don't forget to wear your face mask and observe social distancing whenever you're outside your home. Coronavirus is real. Let's stop the spread in Lagos and Nigeria at large. My name is Yoa Mumumi. Thanks for watching. See you next week. <laughs>